Hi, today I will tell you about types of computers. There are different types of computers in the market and you know some computers that you uh, that you use in your daily life, you see in your computer lab, uh, that is a PC and one computer that is very common, that is a laptop. So these two computers you know well, but there are some other computers also and I will tell about all the types of computers. So we can categorize these computers on the base of the size and uh, the power. So first computer that is called the mainframe computer. Mainframe computer is a very big computer and it is used by big organizations for keeping the information and networking with different computers at different branches. So this is the mainframe computer you can see on your screen. The mainframe computer is a, the mainframe computer is not very common. This is very expensive. It is very costly, and it is used for research and scientific purpose. And uh, big organizations use this computer. Now the second is. Supercomputer. Supercomputer is uh, most powerful computer and it is used by big organization as well as government departments and especially it is connected with the satellites. So when you see the satellite images, the supercomputer is used for taking these images from the satellite. And uh, uh, big organizations make the networking of their departments using this supercomputer also. So the supercomputer is the most powerful computer. The first supercomputer made by India was the Param 10,000. You can see the picture of Param 10,000. Now uh, different uh, powerful supercomputers are made by India and uh, uh, we are using supercomputers in our labs for scientific research work and for medical work and uh, for business purpose also. So, these are the supercomputers and now next. Next is the PC. PC that is uh, very common. Full form is personal computer. Personal computer is made for personal use. It is used by individual and uh, that can be used in offices or home and one person can use this PC at a time. This is a powerful computer, but uh, it can do the work of daily needs of any organization uh, that can be an office or that can be home or that can be bank. So individual person can do his work on this personal computer. Next is laptop. Laptop is very handy computer. It operates by the battery. So that battery is charged by using a charger. And after charging the laptop, you can carry it anywhere with you and you can use it even you are traveling and uh, you are anywhere in a remote area where there is no power supply. You can use this computer. So this is the laptop. Uh, laptop is a, a small computer. The weight is light and it is uh, not uh, too much costly. So the people are using laptop today. Even students are using the laptop. Next is tablet. Tablet is very small computer and it looks like a smartphone but the screen is bigger than a smartphone and on this tablet you can do all the work that you can do on a PC because it operates on the Windows operating system and it is compatible with a PC. So the software that you use on the PC you can use on tablet also. You can do the work on this tablet very same as you do on the PC but you use the touch screen instead of using the keyboard because in this tablet there is no keyboard only the touch keyboard is there so using that touch keyboard you can do the things that you do on your PC. So this is the smallest computer and today we use all the features of a computer in the smartphone also. So a smartphone is also a type of computer and on that a smartphone you can do the computation but the applications are different and the operating system is different so it is not compatible with the PC because it uses Android operating system not the Windows 
and now the windows operating system based smartphone are also in the market but they are not so common so if you are using windows based uh, mobile phone or smartphone then it can be compatible with your pc i hope that you have uh, got the information about other computers in the market and you can uh, identify the computer that which computer is this and some hidden computers are there uh, i have not uh, spoken about this topic uh, these are the types of computer, but the some hidden computers are there that you can see in the ATM machine. ATM machine uses a computer. That is also a computer. What is ATM? You know well. Uh, when you withdraw the cash from any ATM, that is ATM machine, and it uses Windows operating system. It works inside very same as any other computer works, but there are some machines which are connected with that computer and it dispenses the cash according to the computation if there is a balance in your account then it can give uh, the cash if there is no balance it will not give you the cash so this computation is done by the computer and there is a machine that is used for eye testing and that eye testing machine is also computerized so computers they are in that eye testing machine also robots are there uh, these robots use the computer in place of brain so Robot is an artificial human. Uh, it is uh, very similar to the human because it has limbs like uh, hands and uh, foot uh, and body parts that can move also very well. And these are the parts uh, are controlled by the computer. So in place of the brain, there is a computer. So these are hidden computers that you can find at various places. Uh, robotic arms are there that are used in the factories to uh, pick up uh, heavy objects. Uh, so these robotic arms are controlled by the computer. There are various computers used in industries uh, like uh, in embroidery industry. The computers are used for making the designs and uh, printing the designs and uh, making the embroidery. So there are a lot of uses of computers and these hidden computers are connected with the machines and they operate the machines to do the work. So uh, the common computer is the PC and laptop but there are a lot of computers in the market and these computers are working for different purposes. I hope that you have liked this video. If this video is informative just uh, click on the like button, share this video among your friends and press the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon so that you can get the next videos that are very informative and very important for you. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you and bye-bye.